Hello and welcome to Bloomberg TV India, part of the world's biggest financial news network. This is The Big Story. I'm Vivek Law. The coal ministry has put a serious spanner in the works for the finance ministry's ambitious FY14 divestment target. The coal ministry doesn't want the Coal India stake sale to go through right now. That issue alone was to raise a whopping 20,000 crore rupees for the government. Shubham joins us with more details on the story. Shubham, tell us. Well, it definitely seems like the ambitious divestment program of the government for the fiscal year 2013-14 is in jeopardy with coal ministry voicing its concern. Uh, as far as disinvestment of coal India is concerned, the coal ministry believes that there are several issues that need to be resolved before coal India goes, uh, before the government goes ahead with divesting its stake in coal India. Of course, some of these issues relate to the fact that there are dues uh, of NTPC, uh, which amount to about 2,000 crore rupees that coal India has to pay. NTPC hasn't yet signed FSAs or fuel supply agreements with Coal India and lastly there are trade unions that have several times protest against the further uh, divestment of stake in Coal India. So the Coal Ministry really believes that all these matters need to be resolved before the government goes ahead and divests its stake in uh, Coal India. The government is planning to divest somewhere close to about 10% stake in Coal India and is planning to garner about 20,000 crore rupees, which is almost half uh, of the entire uh, disinvestment proceed that the government's planning to target uh, for the fiscal year 2013-14. The Finance Ministry, however, is of the view that all the internal consultations have taken place. They've consulted the coal ministry, which is the administrative ministry as far as divestment in coal India is concerned. So all requisites have uh, come into place and now uh, they would like to go ahead and uh, divest the 10%. The government would like to go ahead and divest its stake as far as coal India is concerned. However, they also feel that if they face any sort of problem, uh, there are several voices that say that the government should first go ahead with the buyback plan that they have thought the government has had planned that uh, about 5% of that 10% divestment will happen through OFS and rest of the 5% will happen through the buyback uh, of, of shares. So really remains to be seen what really is the fate of uh, Coal India's, divest, uh, coal India's uh, divestment issue, but definitely Coal Ministry voicing strong concerns against uh, this particular issue.